What's up guys? Uh, Kuvac here bringing you a little update on my Minecraft world here. Um, I think I mentioned last time I play with my brother and his roommate and we kind of uh, have our own little society here. I've just been showing you Drothen's Inc. here. This is our main factory. I guess Drothen's Incorporated is basically just like the um, the kind of brand that I have going uh, and uh, uh, last time I showed you kind of some upgrades to the factory. There's been some new ones, and I figured I would do an actual commentary on it. But um, when I first started making this thing, I wanted to have kind of like a scorched earth look about it, and so I put in like lava and a bunch of like basalt and all this shit to uh, make it look like um, the factory was just like oozing out, like um, just like killing the environment around it. But <laughs> Yeah, um, so this is new, right up here. Um, my brother, he's kind of doing a whole magic thing and with teleporters and stuff, and he makes all this magic shit. That's kind of what he does. And his roommate, he makes cakes. And <laughs> he, he's basically our cook, and he does all the agriculture stuff. Um, and so I guess I'll start out by... Uh, I'll show you that. I'll start out by showing you um, this thing over here. My brother made me a flying ring, and uh, so I've been using that. Uh, how this used to work is um, it ended up taking too much power, um, and I'm not sure. But this was our rubber tree farm. Let me back up a bit here. Basically, what would happen is you'd come up here, and there would be a button right here that would say uh, harvest and uh, dump into uh, this chest here, and everything was automated. It would set it up so it would get all the leaves off so you could get saplings to plant new ones. It would um, harvest any of the resin which you turned into rubber and it would chop down all the trees which you could put into a, an extractor and make into rubber as well. And then you'd flip the switch and then it would plant all new ones. And with the water all the saplings and the resin and all the shit would go down here into the pipe down there and come out in the box. And um, as you can see, we got a bunch of shit here. In fact, I'll take all this. Uh, actually, I'll leave that. Oh shit! Uh, and uh, and then I'll put that in our extractor um, when we get back to uh, Drothen's Inc. Here. Uh, and so now we just kind of now that we have flying rings and whatnot, we can just come in here and do it all manually whenever we need rubber, and then we can just plant it all back and all that shit so uh, I think I showed you my house it's the first thing I made it's pretty shitty and um, I gotta I'll show you um, everything from kind of the outside look and then I'll show you what happens when I go into my base and um, into my factory I should call I should say and whatnot this is my brother's house um, it's floating basically <laughs> floating castle like house because he's kind of like magic person and here's where all his containers with I guess piss or something I don't know uh, maybe liquid gold <laughs> and lava and whatnot and uh, all the machines that do that I guess this is water here I don't know how it works I really don't <laughs> they've been playing this a lot longer than me uh, looks like he has some sugar canes out here in the middle here and inside he's got a bunch of uh, all his stuff from his house, a bunch of magic shit, and yeah, that's basically that. So that's my brother's house. I believe if we come around this way, yeah, this was the uh, thing that turned everything into something else. I don't know. This was my original rubber tree farm that I made. Um, but then my brother made that massive thing because it was all automated, but it just took too much power or something. Um, and so if we come over here, I do declare. Yep, this is my brother's roommate's house. We'll let everything uh, load up here. Another thing in the sky, but it's uh, actually held up by a bunch of shit. And um, normally, I guess I'll go in the normal way here. I figure I'm using actually land on this thing. Right, so you'd go up. I think if you go down that leads to his uh, his mining operation. Each one of us basically has one but mine's 
the biggest, I guess, I don't know. So I think if we go all the way up, this leads to the roof, and that's where the teleporter is. Yes, you can have teleporters in this game. Looks like this is where all his uh, all his crafting stuff is that he does. And he has all his sugarcane stuff because he makes a bunch of cakes and whatnot. Got chickens running around, and he's got a puppy. I didn't even know you could have them in this game. But uh, and it looks like here's his rubber trees that he had, and uh, that just leads down. And what was this over here? Oh shit! Land. There we go. Looks like this is powering everything, maybe. And that's where he sleeps. It looks like, oh yeah, he makes all his cakes here, and then he tosses them into uh, this uh, chest, and you can set it up. So as you can see, all these, he puts them all in there, and then there's the chest in my factory that it takes it all to. It doesn't actually take it all. It just um, if you've ever played Resident Evil. You know how the chest was kind of omnipresent or whatever? I guess you would open one up and you'd go to a different chest somewhere else. And it would, that was a pig in a tree. Two pigs in trees. I guess they can fly. Ooh, egg. And um, basically you just go and can you know access it from anywhere. So we'll go ahead and land here now that I've showed that. And then once I've done showing you this, uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll talk about what the kind of next step is in case you guys are interested. I don't know. I'm fascinated by all this. I didn't think Minecraft could be this fun. But uh, I don't even play that much. My my uh, friends usually do all the work. So here's that other chest I was talking about. A gift from Topher Cakes. And I think it, yeah, it puts most of them or something. And here's the cakes. And he's got a chair made and whatnot. And I think last time I showed you this, it just had these three things. I'm not sure if this um, alloy furnace was here or not. But uh, I added in some extractors that we'll put some uh, rubber wood in. And we'll put uh, all the sticky resin in. Basically, you can put sticky resin into uh, a normal furnace and, and you'd get one rubber. But if you put it into an extractor, you get three. And uh, if you do put rubber wood in, uh, you get one, and otherwise you basically can't use it for anything. Um, I think if you burn it, it just makes charcoal. I don't even know. Uh, so we'll put all the rest of this in here so we can um, deal with that later. And if, see, as you can see, it's turned it into rubber. And uh, I think I missed it. And it should pump out. Yep, pumping it out. Goes up the pipe. Same with all these, if I were to put in like uh, some ores or something, it would take it, put it into the furnace, turn it back into, uh, turn it into metal, and then it would take it up into the storage place. So I'll show you the second floor. And uh, basically where all the metals and whatnot, uh, and here's where all that rubber comes into. Pretty, pretty nifty. Here's all the original stuff. Um, some things I just don't know what they are. Like a rolling machine, I haven't the foggiest idea. So that's the mine or uh, rail cart system we have set up that takes us to different parts of uh of the places. And uh, show you third floor. Here's our teleporters. This takes us to our respective houses and factory. Like I can go to the top of uh, Topher's house, or I can go to the top of my brother's house, and. Uh, this is my brother's kind of lab in here. Told you he was kind of a lot into magic. So I, in order to open up this door, you have to input a password, and I don't know what it is. I don't think anybody does, except my brother. So it looks like he has a nifty book in there. A bunch of uh, equivalent exchange machines and whatnot. Um, not too much, I'm not sure. We'll put something over here, maybe like a break room or a kitchen where we can put all our food and whatnot just not entirely sure yet and if we go down to the basement we can um, see all the changes down there railcraft uses a bunch of different stuff that you wouldn't normally use um, as you can see we got our wires going here in any other situation so I built this uh, coal coke oven it turns uh, coal into uh, 
cold coke and creosote oil and you use these two things uh, to uh, make railcraft stuff and that's we'll go ahead and take out um, these while I'm here and put in there so it'll keep working and I believe you have to be within like a hundred yards or something of something to be working um, and here's our blast furnace basically you gotta make it huge apparently and you turn basically iron into steel and you, I think you use steel for railcraft as well um, there's a lot of stuff that we're just barely getting into and we're gonna make our kinda environment pretty pretty awesome here let's change back to morning here so take it uh, these are all the different levels you can go to apparently I've just gone to branch mining uh, that's kinda where go down to my place so we'll just go to there we'll hit the button and off we go my brother set this all up when I was at work today and I was hoping to work on some of it but there's only like we got teleporters and whatnot but we're gonna put in a lot more buildings and um, and here we are <laughs> and all those other buildings I'm gonna put uh, rail cart systems in to go to those rather than just teleporters because you know it's pretty cool so we're in the third floor of our uh, underground kinda shit I'll set this up so it's uh, I think we press that that takes it around so now we can hit those buttons now um, this is the my branch mining operation Let's see if we can go a little faster here and all this way leads to it's odd. Uh, all this way leads to my initial branch mining um, that I did when I first started out all these different ways lead down and I've mined a lot I've kind of had to and uh, so if we go up here this leads up I think I showed you this into uh, where I first started out this was my little hovel kind of thing that I started out in I got dirt in there for some reason and we'll go up here exit out of there and now we are back out here so I think I'll go ahead and it's one last couple of last things um, basically a few buildings we're thinking about making probably up in here around there maybe over where those trees are we kinda wanna put in a, a residential area um, for like workers that we don't have and whatnot just kind of make it a little more uh, I don't know, not just so useful stuff. I, I don't know it. But yeah, uh, and then we'll probably put in like a oil refinery because you can actually mine oil in this, uh, in Tekkit, and uh, all this other shit. It, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. Just the, I should probably take that minecart back though. So we'll go ahead and go down here. And go down. Yeah, whatever works. Come on. Nope. Let's grab the... Fuck it. Right, can I get down? Okay, fucking finally. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, it looks like... Up here? I haven't actually been here. So I wonder if you can actually call... We go here. Can we call the rail cart? Because I'm just learning this shit. I don't even know. Is it coming? No? Okay. Looks like this second level. Maybe this is... It's in here. Lower caverns and whatnot. And we'll go ahead and go down back to the basement here. How I'm clinging onto rail carts, like tracks, and not electrocuting myself and dying, I don't know. But let's head back to my factory. So we go up the elevator here. It's so much faster than walking. It's like faster than flying. It's it's awesome. 
which is such a neat addition to uh, all this crap and all the wires and whatnot that I don't even understand. Oh shit. Nope. One out. Oh, it looks like that's going. <laughs> Whoa. Guess I can't walk on that. Okay, so let's hit that button so it moves over. Alright. Well, wherever that went. So, one last thing. I'll show you teleporters. And we'll we'll go to uh, Topher's Sky Boat first. We'll stand on here and hit the button. And bam! Instantly to his house. And we can go up that ladder and back into wherever. Stand on this again and... I think if I hit that button, go here. I wonder where the, what that other button does. Does it take us to Brad's house? Whoa. No, it just freaks out. <laughs> so we stand on this one. Bam. We're at uh, we're my brother's house. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. So uh, that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you all that. And... Uh, Hope you kind of like these little updates, and uh, I know a few people have been telling me about Minecraft recently, and just wanted to kind of show them what was up. It's a longer video than I thought it would be, but uh, you know that's that's how the cookie crumbles and all that bullshit. Oh, one I keep I keep remembering all these things. Oh, and one side effect of something I don't know the huge holes in the ground. <laughs> So let's see. Bunch of creepers over there. This was my brother's old house. Um, this was what he first started out in. All this crap, and then he made all the new stuff. I won't show you that, but what I was going to show is uh, here's our portal to the nether world. To the nether. And I forget how you actually make this, but. Uh, I think it requires obsidian and a gate or some shit. But basically, you go in here and it will teleport you into the nether. And it takes forever to load. But basically, you come here. Freaking out. Uh, you come here and uh, once it actually loads, uh, all that. You see that ore up there? That's called sunstone. You use that for a bunch of shit. That's basically the only reason to actually come here because there's enemies everywhere. You can see them all down there already, and it's not even loaded yet. So let's get out of here and, uh, yeah. Dangerous place. Okay, guys, so, um, thanks for watching this. I'd, I am out of things to show you. So, on that note, I will go ahead. And uh, see you guys um, next time I feel like updating this. Uh, probably won't be for a while. Just because uh, until maybe an oil refinery and a few other things are put in. But uh, so yeah, we'll see you then.